Ah, oh, g'day you guys. I'm the fat Aussie bastard. Hey, listen, uh, I'll tell you what, it's autumn here at the moment, but it's still bloody hot. I've got to tell you, nothing better than a cold beer on a hot day. And in Australia, this is how we open our cold beers. Oh, oh that's smart. <laughs> right, just hang on a sec. Oh, fucking beautiful. All right. Got a little DIY video for you today, guys. Now, if you own a prestige car, a prestige car like I do, then you're a fucking wanker too, just like I am. <laughs> but this is something you might not know. You actually shouldn't wash your car using a sponge uh, or using one of these. This is what I normally use. This is what I used to use. You know, put the old broom in the bucket and fucking soap the car up and yada yada. But it will damage your paint, apparently. So lately, I've been using a soap dispenser cannon and a pressure washer. So the only thing that actually touches the car is soap and water. Now, I buy these rather expensive soap dispenser cannons, like this. But there's a problem. They do put out beautiful soap on your car, but the bloody soap dispenser jars in the motherfuckers crack. You get these big fucking cracks in them and then they piss fucking soap out everywhere. And they're a pain in the fucking ass. Now I've had three of these on eBay, 20 bucks, yes, I'm a big fucking spender. 20 fucking dollars. And uh, the devices themselves work pretty well, but the actual little containers here, they're just shit. All right. You can also uh, buy a device to put on your pressure washer which will dispense soap but they're about 60 bucks and I wasn't going to spend that on one of those it's only a fucking BMW for fuck's sake <laughs> but I've come up with a DIY soap dispenser now I know you guys are watching this going for fuck's sake just get on with it would you just fucking get on with it but you know what fuck you I like to waffle on mm. right now, I'm sure that all of you in your garage or in your shed have got a bottle of this, Weed and Feed. And they come with this nifty little cap on the top that you connect the hose up to. It looks like that. And uh, it squirts out water and a bit of Weed and Feed. Well, you can take that cap off and you can put it on a bottle of fucking detergent. Eh? And I'll tell you what. <laughs> Cost you nothing, once you've used your weed and feed of course, and it works better than any store-bought soap dispensing cannon that I have ever used. Now you guys have got to see this in action. Come on, let's go take a look. Come on. Righto, here we go. dust and all that sort of stuff on them gang I find a bit of dirty old two dollar degreaser brings them up as good as anything works pretty good and don't forget to test your brakes before you drive too far because you've got degreaser all over the discs yeah now when you're done, you should always chamois off your glass. Uh, I don't chamois off the bodywork because I use tank water, I use rainwater to wash my car. So um, it dries absolutely spotless. If you're using the city water or the town water or the municipal water, then you will need to chamois off your whole car. Something else um, that it's a bit of an old wives tale about chamois is that they, everyone thinks that they're supposed to be stored damp in the original container that they came in, but that's not true at all. Chamois actually prefer to be stored dry. 
So I just hang this up on a hook in the shed and just let it dry. And uh, they work a whole lot better. You can virtually wipe your whole car without having to wring it out once. Right, eh? let's go and do this glass. Come on. Every single piece of glass on that car and the chamois is still reasonably dry. Pretty good, huh? Now I'll give you another good tip, gang, when you're dressing up your wheels. We've all seen this uh, tyre shine, this cheap shit you can buy, and it's pretty good shit. And most of you just spray it on your tyres. But I'm telling you right now, you need to spray this on your entire wheel and do it while it's wet. Now the instructions on the can actually say do it while it's dry, just spray it on the tyre. But if you spray it on the entire wheel while it's wet, your wheel will maintain the wet look for days and days, sometimes even weeks. Have a look. Uh, one thing you have to remember is that you're spraying a, uh, a lubricant on your disc brakes. So make sure when you first drive your car that you put the brakes on, apply the brakes a few times before you start going too fast. So you might go, fuck, got no brakes. Well, there you go, gang. There you have it. How to wash your fucking car properly. Right, eh? What are you still doing here? Fuck off and go and wash your own car. I'm thirsty. I'm going to have a fucking drink. Yeehaw. What? <laughs>